TCP is a reliable and connection oriented protocol used in the transport layer. The operation of TCP is performed in three different stages. The first stage is called connection establishment. Second phase or second stage of the connection is called data transfer. And third stage of the transmission is called the connection termination. In this video, we will explore all the three different phases or stages of TCP connection in detail. The first stage of the connection is called connection establishment. In this phase, the source and the destination establishes one connection in order to transmit the data. Because of this connection establishment phase, the TCP is called connection oriented protocol. Suppose that the sender wanted to transfer this block of data to a receiver. The data here, some sample data is given here, hello world sample data. And 4000, 4008, 4016, these are addresses of different data. And we are assuming that each of the data block comprises of 64 bits of data and this is equals to 8 bytes. The first location is addressed as 4000, second one is addressed as 4008, 4016, so on so forth. Now the sender need to prepare one sync packet to inform the receiver about the transmission of the data and subsequently it will request the receiver to prepare for data reception. So sender will prepare one segment. This segment is called the sync segment. In this segment, the sender will set the sync flag of the header to one it will put the sequence number as the address of the first byte and with these two information it will send the sync packet. On receipt of the sync packet by the receiver, it will now prepare for data reception. What it will do, it will reserve some buffer space, it will set window size, suppose that the receiver is capable of accepting only 80 bytes of data at a time. After receiving 80 bytes of data, unless it is consumed part of the it is it consumes part of the data, it will not be able to receive more data. That's why this 80 it is in inserted in the windows field or window size field in the header. It sets the acknowledgement packet, acknowledgement bit set to 1 and it also puts the acknowledgement number as 4000. It means that receiver is now ready to accept the sequence number 4000 or it is ready to accept the segment with sequence number 4000. This sync packet, this acknowledgement packet in response to the sync packet will be communicated to the will be communicated to the sender. Once sender receives this acknowledgement packet, it will understand that the receiver on the other side is ready to accept data. So it will go for the next phase preparation. As a next phase of the preparation, the sender will set one sender window since as for the information available in the acknowledgement packet this window size is given as 80 the window size window size is given as 80 so it will understand that the sender can send 80 bytes of data without waiting for acknowledgement 
or without interruption. That's why 80 bytes means 10 blocks of data in this direction, 10 starting for from 4000 till 4072. This is already a uh, total of 80 bytes of data. It can communicate continuously. After this is been received, this acknowledgement is received and this sender window size prepared this sync or connection establishment phase of TCP is over. Once the connection is established, the data transfer begins. In the data transfer phase, the sender prepares segment with data. By that time, the sender is setting up the window size, sender window size. It puts one pointer to the first byte to be transferred. Then it prepares the segment for data transmission. The segment comprises of the sequence number as the address of the first byte to be transferred. Then it puts the data in the data section. It is, this is the part of data in the segment. And suppose it has decided to send only 16 bits of data one in one time. So two 16 bits of data, that means here this hello world, these two, these two data, this data, this data will be packed in the data part and it will be communicated as segment one. Immediately after completion of this segment, sending of this segment, it will send the next segment where the address here because this part is already be, already been transferred however not acknowledged that's why it will start the next segment with the address from 416 to 424 and these two data sample data will be packed in the data and will be communicated to the receiver in the segment that way it will continue till the data in location 4064 4064 to 4072 and this one will be changed to 4064 and it will complete the transmission of the last segment total five segments will be transmitted segment number five and it will wait for acknowledgement from the receiver once acknowledgement arrives it will continue transmitting data in the same way and this process data transmission or data transfer phase completes as soon as it completes the transmission of all the data that is shown in the data here data section till 4 fff all the data if all the data is transferred to the destination it indicates that data transmission is over every time the sender receives the acknowledgement it forwards the sliding window little bit forward and that's why it is called it is called sliding window because that is window slides towards right of the available window or available sequence numbers during data transmission phase the sender also take care of the flow control error control and congestion control these three things are most important for for reliable data transmission which is provided by tcp protocol once the data transmission is over the next phase of tcp is connection tear down or closing up the connection the third stage of tcp connection is connection closing or connection termination phase in this phase the sender once the data is completed it uh, prepares one segment where the fin bit is set to one then it communicates that segment to the receiver once receiver receives this fin segment or segment with fin bit set to one it prepares the uh, connection termination it all removes all the buffer from its uh, from its memory it clears the buffer which one was established to accept data from the sender it also removes the 
window size and all other relevant information with the uh, related to the connection and then it closes the session and it terminates the tcp connection here the connection establishment and connection termination both are initiated by the sender only the receiver responds to the sender's request or sender segment and we also assume here that the connection is one way connection one way connection where sim only the sender sends the data and receiver receives the data we are not assuming the scenario where both sender and the receiver communicates data in both directions that's why this connection the, the example taken here is a one-way connection if two-way connections we wanted to establish two-way connections sync packet which we have seen was initiated by the sender will also be initiated by the receiver similarly the connection teardown or connection closing phase also will be established or initiated by both sender and the receiver otherwise all other things or all other all other details that we have discussed in the one-way con connection system is also applicable for two-way connection system.